Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, video in which I'm going to show you the new layout feature in SharePad. You will notice now that uh, since the last upgrade you'll have a layout option in the top right hand corner of the program. Uh, click on it, clicking on it will allow you to create new layouts. So instead of just having the current default layout where you have a list on the left hand side and then the green section on the right where you can see chart or financials or news. Here we can now create layouts with several different views all at the same time. Clicking on uh, the create button will open up a template selection. It will allow us to choose what templates to use when um, creating a new layout. These templates, you'll notice some of them will contain numbers on each of the screens. So for example, this one here called two lists uh, will indeed have two lists. On the left hand side, there will be two blue sections and on the right, two green sections. And the number refer to the fact that these the top two windows are linked together and the bottom two windows are linked together. Therefore, selecting an instrument on the list, on the first list, will um, select that same stock on the green section on the right and selecting a stock on the second list uh, will then uh, select the same share on the second green view. There's a menu at the top here which will allow you to uh, filter out the templates. So just show you the layout with two or three windows, four windows or five or more. Now we're going to proceed and create a layout. I'm going to pick one of the bigger ones with lots of different screens. We choose a name, we can rename it if we want, and then we click on OK. And this is our layout. So in the top left hand corner we have a list, below that a chart, at the top we have a financial view and below that a news window. In the bottom right hand corner there's a f small FTSE 100 chart. Now the three windows uh, with the news, the financials and the chart will are all linked to the list. Whilst the uh, FTSE 100 graph in the bottom right hand corner is just an independent window. It can be changed to something else but it will not be affected by any of the uh, other views on the screen. The layout you see in front of you is one I prepared earlier. When you create a new layout it will all the green screens will all default to chart. Now I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to set up the layout exactly the way that you want it. The buttons at the top here will affect whichever view is currently highlighted. So at the moment you will see that there's a blue border around the list view which means that that's a currently active window. If I click on the financials page now this uh, view has been highlighted. So if I press any of, the any of the buttons at the top here this view will change to either a chart or a news windows or whatever I choose. Any of these views can be zoomed into full screen by either pressing the uh, button at the top here or hitting the equals key on your keyboard and that has exactly the same effect. The views can be resized by pointing your mouse arrow in between two of the views, clicking and dragging. We have introduced the snap feature uh, which means that you can precisely snap the views to half of the screen or a third of the screen or a quarter of the screen. You know when it's snapping because the dotted line when you click and drag will turn to red. If you let go, now this is at exactly one third of the screen. Or if I put it back, it's at exactly one half. Just as a reminder, the layout feature only works on computers, so PCs or laptops. It will not work on tablets. So uh, if you do log in uh, on your iPad, for example, it will automatically switch to the default layout, so the classic split screen mode. As soon as you re log in on your computer, it will then remember the last layout that you were viewing. Now you can create uh, multiple layouts uh, and they'll all appear here on the menu. 
and the uh, currently active one will have a tick against it. Um, on the same menu, you can rename the selected layout. You can copy this layout uh, or delete the layout entirely. Since we've added this menu here at the top, we've slightly moved around the other menus. All the options and tutorials and help all appear in this uh, new menu item that appears in the top right hand corner, which also includes the logout button. This concludes our tutorial on the new layout feature. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, you can contact us via email or you can call our support line between 8 and 6 from Monday to Friday. Thank you for listening and goodbye.